It's 8 p.m. in Japan. Welcome to Newsroom Tokyo. I'm Hideki Nakayama. And I'm Aoki Shibuya. We begin with an update on the case of ousted Nissan chief Carlos Ghosn. It took 108 days and $9 million in bail for the former auto executive to be released. Now his legal team is discussing when to hold his first news conference. Ghosn still faces a criminal justice system with a conviction rate of 99%. Turning to Thailand, where the country's constitutional court has decided to dissolve a political party after it nominated a princess for prime minister, Patari Raksawang has the details from Bangkok. Turning now to the abrupt collapse of the U.S.-North Korea summit last week. While Pyongyang tries to label it a success, intelligence experts say they're getting mixed signals. North Korean state-run TV has aired a documentary about the summit, but it failed to mention the talks ended without an agreement. One person hoping for a better result from the Hanoi summit was South Korea's President Moon Jae-in. NHK World's Kim Jeonju reports on how Seoul is dealing with the fallout. The UN is calling for urgent humanitarian aid in North Korea to the tune of $120 million. A Chinese Communist Party representative of the Tibet Autonomous Region has attacked Washington over a new law banning some officials from getting U.S. visas. Wu Yingjie spoke on the sidelines of the National People's Congress in Beijing. Some observers say he may be there as part of a wider attempt to promote China's stance on the Tibet issue to foreign media. You won't find Osaka's Kamagasaki district on many tourist maps. It's an unglamorous part of town. Most of the people are former day laborers who've fallen on hard times. Locals line up outside homeless shelters every day, waiting for a place to spend the night. But in defiance of the darkness, a one-of-a-kind art project is brightening the lives of the people. NHK World's Tomomi Hashimoto has the story. I love their fashion. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And they're creating some mm -hmm. fascinating work. Mm -hmm. And it's great seeing that they've found a new purpose mm -hmm. in life through artistic mm -hmm. expression. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Miss Wira came up with the idea of bringing mm -hmm. art into a community to get the best out of its people. Yes. NHK World's Kyoko Tashiro sat down with her to discover more. It's time for Weather Around Asia with our meteorologist, Jonathan O. Hello, Jonathan. Hello. So we saw some decent showers this afternoon mm -hmm. in Tokyo. I mean, I looked out the window, and at, at one point, I saw pouring. Yeah, yeah. Lots of rainfall, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And is this going to continue? Actually, I have some good news for you. And if you've missed any of our stories, please visit our NRT website. And that's it for today's News in Tokyo. I'm Hideki Nakayama. And I'm Aki Shibuya. Coming up next in NHK World's interview program, Direct Talk. Stay with us.